we're doing maintenance on some of these machines. So, the wake down first one, my manifold filter housing was leaking. So I'm gonna to to put that under pressure and check to see, make sure it's not leaking. This, these two here, a uh, bit more wings going into it now. So I've managed to get silicon dust. Basically the dust that you get from like grinding up concrete or cutting bricks. Um, managed to get into the paint through the hoses and it's just clogged it up, ruined. I'm going to put cellulose fitters in the machines, run it underneath pressure, more likely about 2000 PSI. Keep it, leave, keep it in there, leave it in there for about five minutes and then I'm gonna run the machines through. Apparently it's a real good thing to, for you to actually do every now and then maybe like once or twice a year just to run your machines through with cellulose fillers uh, just to clean out the debris in the hoses and make sure there's not any crap in there so i really am hoping to get the silica dust out of it so it's more than anything just a quick show of maintenance with these machines let's proceed right did you stand the cellulose fillers yeah so we're just going to pour it inside these containers here and we're going to basically run the machine I run it through a little bit and then basically we're just going to keep it holding in there for about five minutes and then we're just going to empty it out. Okay. TSL fluids in the machines and then I've got some pump armor that I'm going to pump out. Once the pump armor's out now we've got some cellulose fluid running through, uh, cellulose fluid running through now, I'll let it run through for a little while and then we'll just basically hold this fluid inside the hoses and in the pump for about five minutes. Let that run now. Let's do the tri tech. Right, so we've got to leave these, run it for a couple minutes, see how we get on. Pressurise that up, put it up to about 1400 psi. Just gonna squeeze a little bit through. Okay. Gotta do exactly the same with the Graco.
Right, while that's sitting there for five minutes, we've got to work on this machine over here. Um, just test that, put down the pressure. Uh, make sure that main bug house is not working. So, already got some water in the bucket. We'll get rid of the, uh, bloody hell, it's windy. We've got to get rid of the pump armor that's in there and then put down the pressure. Okay, okay so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to relieve the pressure in both these machines. They've been sitting there for quite a few minutes. I said five minutes, it's more likely to be about 15. Um, and then I'm going to take the guns off the hose and just let it run through. Right, so right now I've taken off the two guns, we've got the hoses in, and we've got to prime it, and then I'm just going to run the hoses through, and hopefully this should clean all the silica dust out of it. I hope. That would do. Do the same thing for this one. You can see the bubbles. You can see that moving. Alright. We'll leave that. We'll let that run for a few minutes. Okay. Gonna get the rest of the fluid. To send those fillers out the lines back into the container um, and then it's a quick wash out. Aye, look at the state of that. That's out of the machine. There's a good chance because I had um, the prime valve, the prime, sorry, the prime return hose in the cellulose filler, some of the paint might have come off that. Uh, but not all that shit. Look at the fucking state of it. So what we're going to do now, got some hot soapy water, both of them are in there, and more like these, a 15 litre tub, more like these 30 litres, obviously 15 litres each, running through the machine, and then I'll wash them out, maybe with another 30 litres of water. Just like you clean it down, I'm going to automate it, between prime and spray, pair of them. What I love about these guns, trigger, you have safety lock, you can keep it open and just let it spray. Again, I've got a 360 gun in this one, I have.
Okay. Poop is in the pudding. Three ten tip. And see how we go with that. This is brand new. Well, not brand new. I've only used it three times. It should be okay because before it was even blocking in water. I put water in it and it would block. So we'll see. Seems okay. You see that pulsing? I've hardly used this and it pulsates on low pressure. You see? Look at that. You can see it in the water. That's the piston stroke. You don't get that with the Wagner, with the diaphragm pump. And you hardly get it with the tri tech but that is clocked free. That should be working absolutely fine now. All right. This is the second time I've washed this through, but this time it's been a lot thorough. I need to go to this length. I put the cellulose thinner in there, run it through, but not as extreme as I've done it today. So let me know that works okay. Try tech, sorry. Pull it up to about 1400 psi. There you go, 1400. <sighs> yeah, baby, it's working. Yeah. I can't believe that. I've had so much hassle with these two machines. It shows you, do not get silica dust in your paint. It can screw it up and take ages for it to clean out. All done, all I've got to do is just wipe down the machine with cellulose for anyone on this, and that should be done. My machines are cleaned. I know there's no tip blocks in there, I know there's no blockages in there. As I said to you before, it was even doing it in the wall. I should have showed you that to show you how badly it was blocking before. But um, it seemed to do the trick. As I say, maybe six months or a year, one of your lines, one of your machine will send a low spinner. Absolutely wipe out anything in there. You saw the crap that came out of the Graco 390. Um, so, anyway, I'll see you next time.